everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of The Duelist. So, today we have a mission to pull off. If I go to the command center real quick, we have a duo duel to do. We're going to pull this one off today. Um, still waffling whether or not we're going to leave this system or not. We're still getting okay missions here. Getting far less clan wolf missions though. Um, so I'm not sure really what to do about that. But, that being said, we got this mission to do today, but before we do it, so we, at the end of the last Duelist episode, we made some changes to the Hatchetman. We picked up some gear at the end of the Royalist, which, or the Royals, that allowed me to make some changes to these mechs. So, we got the Battle Computer Heat, which I dropped in here. You'll notice on the left arm, I now upgraded the ER Medium back to a Medium Improved Heavy Laser. And what I did was I swapped out a regular SRM-6 for the Clan SRM-6, which upped the heat, but also dropped the weight, which means we were allowed to put in two Clan double heat sinks. But I did have to pull out all of the jump jets. And I added an e ECM because I'm worried. The more I think about this loadout, and thinking back to when we started, we had major issues because the enemy spotted us right away. And they were shooting at us at range. Then we got the Clan... We got the... Uh, the uh, Chameleon LPS system and we were able to get right up on them and attack them in melee before they could really do much against us. So yes, we're getting a lot more melee resistance with this but if the enemy is just shooting at us from range I mean I don't know. I don't know. I'm not convinced this is going to work. So I'm kind of worried about that, but we'll find out. So I, I put the e I put the oh, the only ECM we had in here. It'll add a little bit of extra protection, but not much. And then with the other stuff that we picked up, I went ahead and outdid the, the uh, redid the Spectre slightly. I left the weapons loadout the way it was, but I added the hot seat cockpit and the battle computer blood sport. So now we can actually get into a little bit more melee with this guy. We got claws on the one arm, so I'm hoping that we can get into doing a bit more punching and stuff. We'll we'll see how it goes. Uh, I, I'm not. I don't know. We'll see, we'll just see. And we'll probably end up doing a lot of kicking, I think, more than anything with this guy still. But this is not really a good me like uh, melee mech. It's it's okay. The the bonus is that it's the chameleon, right? It's stealthy, so that's really its its strong point. So let's just see. We got a, we got that that mission to pull off today. Actually, let's go to the barracks real quick because we got to check to make sure that we don't have any skill points to spend. I think we do though. So China doll, I think um, we do have a few points. Do we want to go? Let's go piloting and guts. Yeah, we want to go piloting and guts because we want to get their our melee skill up. So we'll go that Ready route. Confirm, Commander. And then we go down to, uh, where are you here, Vengeance? I think we're Standing probably back. still, yeah, we're still working on getting our next level up here. Which will probably go, it might go into piloting. I haven't decided yet. But we'll see. We're going to keep going up the Guts line though too as well. So we'll just see. Alright, let's get into a mission here. So uh, as long as we keep pulling these stupid one sc or half scholars, we're not going to get very much XP. It's going to take forever to rank our pilots up, so it's nice that we get those assassinate missions that we can pull off with the other, with the royals. So, uh, let's go ahead and take this guy, and we'll go full salvage, because we can make our financial reports, so I'm not worried about that. See what we can get out of this sucker. Okay, let's load nothing, and let's bring our pilots down. You, and you, you. And you, and let's do this. Command interface initiated. All right, well, here we go. Same map, same as always. Tell you what, let's um change things up slightly here. Let's go move in from a different position. I say we kind of go up along over here and then maybe up this way. Acknowledged. Yeah, we'll just move along here. See if we can get up and behind them. I don't think we can. Now we don't have jump jets. I don't know if we can Rolling. get up and behind them. Rolling. I don't think we can, actually. Onward. Oh, maybe. 
All right, we got it. What an adder and I don't know what that is. At least we got sensors on, and they got sensors on us too. Oh, the CN. I don't know what that's got. I'm receiving you. They spotted us, so we got to go after them. Let's go into the trees here. Get behind the rock. Full throttle. At least it feels like kind of like a little, little bit of a different fight. We're coming from a different angle now. Incubus. Okay. Waiting for orders. Uh, you know what? We're pretty darn stealthy, so let's get some speed, some protection, and see if we can get a shot off on one of these two guys. Oh, wow, that's pretty crappy, eh? 29%. It's two ER mediums and a hand held. What? 2XL. 2X LRM5 clan. What the hell is that? Is it like double LRM fives? ER larges. That could be bad. Two machine guns and a flamer. That's actually not a bad loadout. I don't know how he's going to do with heat, though. Okay, a little bit of sensor dampening. Yeah, see, these guys would never have spotted me if I hadn't have. Uh, Swapped out the chameleon Commander. system. It's just going to make it harder for me to get close to them to be able to engage properly. Holy shit. Ooh, I put myself right between them, but hopefully we can uh, get in close here. Well... Let's not get too hot. Primitive. I want to keep our full speed. At least that guy's standing in fire now. I don't know if he'll fire both his lasers. He'll probably fire both his lasers. Yes. AMS FTW, baby. All ten of them. Commander. So he does have a pair of LRM5s. He's got, this guy's got speed too. I don't want to get too, too close to him. Get to there. I think this is the guy we're going to try and kill first. Maybe we try to maximize salvage on the adder. If we can hit him. That's the big question. What are you up to? Oh, you're moving in. I think I gotta attack you, though. Well, you did go with both. Damage is minor, Commander. And he's overheating, like, severely. Standing by. Do I... I'm going to capitalize on that. Solid. I'm going to forget this Incubus for now. This guy's decided to give himself to us, so we're going to take it. Uh, we're going to leave the PPC off because of that. Target lock on enemy stick. I considered changing the loadout of this guy to drop the PPC and add another flamer, but then I couldn't figure out what to put in for the ballistic. I thought maybe we could put in the, uh, will be done. the rotary. Go with a kick. And just Inferno. Ooh, do I want to play with my food, though? That's the question. So this is doing... 52% chance to hit 81 damage. Same chance to hit for 52 damage. If we go with the... Hot seat cockpit. Ready for orders. On. Right, we can walk up. The 
78 damage. It's still a 50-50 chance to hit, though. Yeah, let's go. I'm going. I want parts, so let's see if we can get the leg. Nope. Damn it. Well, here's some SRMs for you, though. Damage. Standing in fire still. Beautiful. What are you doing? So we're not getting a good judge of whether or not that chameleon would really be effective out of this match, but at least we have the like at least we have our second mech now because it, hey, your that really really helps. Go on this on side and attack him. Oh, for Christ's sake! At least his heat is like jacked. Going against the Spectre, right? Eh? Commander? How's the adder's heat? <sighs> Don't know. That's the side attack, too. Let's go there, so we're not actually getting our guy in a crossfire here. We'll take the heat. We'll take the heat. Targeting for physical yeah, you got the kick in. Nice. I should turn the hot seat on. I forgot. Keeping him nice and toasty, though. It pretty much rules out him using the... Uh... Oh, right through the fire. The ER larges. You're going to hide. Okay. Won't say no to that. All right, what's our failure chance now? I'm ready. 30%. Let's not uh, keep that on at all. <laughs> That's a little much for my blood. Although we are going to freaking mail you. I want to move over onto this side, though. Uh, only because I don't want to be um, not moving. I'm walking here. I want to get at least a little bit of evasion. Yeah, hey, fine, we landed a kick. Yeah, I think as proof of concept, I think having that extra SRM-6 in there... It's really jacking up the heat, he's gonna shoot me in the back. Well played, sir, well played. Light damage, Commander. We're gonna fuck you up in a second, so... We're gonna fuck you up! All right, Hutch. Standing by. Um. Hmm. Rolling. Let's go there. Uh, why does my hot seat cockpit not show up here? Oh, there's the dirt. Never mind. It doesn't show up because I'm an idiot. That's why it doesn't show up. Just in case you're wondering why it didn't appear there. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get his leg. Nope. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative <laughs> why is it not damage. showing up? All right, Waiting kiddo. For can you uh? Wait. Now I can do it. Okay. Kick. Flamers on only. Actually, no. No. Yeah, flamers on only. Let's go. <gasps> nice hit. We may have got the leg. No, nope, not quite enough. Critical hit, Commander. Puts him over the oh, puts him over the red line. I think again, though. Oh, not 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 quite. 
Well, he's almost lost his legs completely. Ah, shit, he's coming around behind. No, he's not. Yes, he is. What's the flank? Should have taken the shot against me, buddy. Barely hit the Would have done more. Would have done more. I'm here. Now, the question is... Is do we punish this guy with a physical weapon attack? Sixty-five percent. Let's try and punish this guy. He's being a real pain. Locked on for physical attack. Yes. That's what you get for trying to get me, buddy. Here comes some missiles for you. Hit. I'm going to toss up whether I want to keep the uh, Inferno or if I want to go with, uh, if we can get some acid ammo. Might be better. Or a mix of both, maybe. We're At least we're keeping this guy so that he can't use his large lasers. Oh, he's dropped all his heat now, so that's not good. I live to serve. Okay, I think we could only charge this guy. Actually, uh... That should give us the ability to, wa to uh, kick him. Yeah. That's a back. That's front. Well, this will be a random leg. I'm your spaniel. Let's go this way. Ugh. Fuck. What does he got? Like this isn't going pepperoni on, on his mech here? Okay, at least we got some heat on I him. He's standing in Wind. flames, so he could probably Don't only you? fire one of his larges. Nope. He's gonna use them both. We're in trouble. I'm under heavy fire. We are in trouble. Finally got a good matchup at half skull. That's pretty good. Okay, he ran. Standing by. Oh, make sure we turn that off. Shanadal's gonna walk up and kick this guy here. And just inform him that his friend has let, hung him out to dry. Your friend has hung you out to dry. Engaging. Now we are going to finish you off. Reporting critical hit. Enjoy the heat, buddy. You sacrificed yourself. And he's still okay. Waiting for orders. You got the speed. You got the speed. You got the speed. Let's get on this guy. Put it all up. Ah, uh, let's leave the machine gun off though. Copy that. Okay, nice. Keep him nice and toasty. Waiting for orders. And you. Uh, my back is like severely damaged here. Okay, it's just stripped. You just pulled the armor off. Six points left, eh? That should be enough with the infernos. Confirm. There you go. Ah, ammo explosion. Damn it! We torsoed him, I think. Shit. Thought that was gonna be leg hits. Does this guy have any weapons left? I answered my question. I guess a half ton of AMS ammo doesn't go very go very far, does it? I'm ready. Wait. I moved so I can't turn it off now. Shit. That's not good. There's the leg kill. Okay, good. One less target. Shit. I saw it flashing just as I clicked. That's why I don't like to use stuff that I have to turn on and off because I, I forget to do it. And he bailed out. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it getting damaged. Mission successful. Alright, well, we didn't make any money off that, but that's not what we were there for. Let's have a quick look here. All right, two times, how much does this weigh? Three ton handheld. A 
pair of clan LRM fives. 60 rounds, so we got six turns of firing with these. I mean, we don't have any um, bolt-ons yet, really. Although the Clan XL would be... G we got two of these, but we could take this for C-Bills. Stabilizing Gyro. Entrenched after walking. Minus 5% stability damage taken. That's really great to have. Four double heat sinks is nice too. Uh, what's the most important? CN's kind of nice. But there's only one part, so it's not really a big deal. Let's go with... Let's see, money or stable? I think we go with stabilization. We'll grab you, because once we put the Clan XL engine into the Hatchetman, I can probably put... I'll put this in. I think that's what we do. Yeah. All right, we got another Clan Flamer. That's opening up a, a, a really big possibility for stuff. I'm going to sell this guy for the C-Bills. Take the fire control system standard. I think we keep the rest. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good roll. All right, well, not really a good example of whether or not the Chameleon is going to help or not help. It's hard to tell. I think we stick with what we have. Um, because, I mean, we didn't get attacked, like, melee-wise at all. So I'm not really sure of how much melee I should be expecting. I mean, we get it every once in a while, but it's mostly mechs moving behind us and shooting us in the back. So maybe we get some items that reduce the overall damage in total. I don't know. Let me think about it. Because the chameleon is still really nice being able to walk like almost right up to them and have full control rather than having to react like we did in this one. They spotted us at a good distance when normally that never happens. We came out on top this time, but it, it allow it gives them the ability to position themselves in such a way that I don't have control over it. Whereas the other way around, when we're sneaking up on them, we basically catch them flat-footed. We generally have a good first strike percentage chance to hit. And then the battle just kind of unfolds, but they don't get to position in any way that they is, is advantageous to them right away. So I don't know. I don't know. That battle went really well. I'm not really that I'm not actually pleased with the way that turned out. So um But yeah, I think the Spectre though, that PPC's gotta go. It it's limiting because we can only use it every once in a while. So maybe I think about a way we can do a ballistic loadout so maybe we do flamers like I'd, I'd take out the PPC put another flamer in that caps out the energy hard points then maybe we put in the rotary rifle in one torso like the light rotary rifle and then something or an ultra 2 do we have um, let's just go to the mech bay real quick here. Let's just grab, let's just jump into the Clint real quick. Um, because maybe it's the, maybe it is the Ultra 2. Yeah, so the Clint is partially loaded out. It's like a medium pulse laser build, an ER micro laser build. We got a, like a little bit of ways to go. We got a mace in the arm here. I don't know. This guy's slowly taking form but let's have a look at so we do have an ultra 2 do we have ammo for it that's the question we have a half couple of half loads of ammo so that's like yeah 15 turns of firing we probably only need one half load though because I mean we're rarely going like more than 8 turns you know we go that route and then because that's 5 tons, 6 tons with the ammo, replaces the PPC, and then a half ton for the flamer. So we have like a half ton left over. The pinpoint damage goes up, the heat damage goes up. Because right now that PPC fragments, so it's just splash everywhere. 
while we're affecting their sensors, I don't think it's enough to really make that much of a difference, whereas I would rather be overheating them more. But once again, the Spectre's not really the, the secondary mech I want to use. I want to get something with like a like if we can get something with like a lot of um, energy hard points. We have five flamers here. We got two on the mech already. Seven flamers. We'll just shut down most mechs if we can hit with most of them. Well, most light and medium mechs it would. The heavier mechs not so much. Um, but yeah, that's a good possibility. Now this guy, I didn't realize I had done a loadout on him. I thought I was still working on it, but I guess I did. ER Micro Laser Array. Do we have... What's our heat sinking like on this guy right now? It should be pretty good, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. We got one and a half tons. I think I was waiting for like a Guardian or something like that. Like that a Guardian ECM or something. That's why I haven't done anything with it yet. Now we don't, we've got a regular ECM we could drop in for now. So, I mean, we could go that route. We've got, what, a half ton left? Clan sensors. Standard clan uh, cockpit and... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, is there anything else that's worth putting in here? It's a pretty weak loadout. Like, we got to get close to inflict a lot of damage. And it's like, this is like a light mech loadout on a on a 45 or a 40 ton medium mech, right? But we got the speed. That's the thing, right? We got, we're, we're 7-11 here for speed. So we can get in close. Uh, we don't have any more hard points left, do we? No, we don't. So, I mean, unless we can find a weapon that's one and a half tons, which we don't have. Wait, you're the micro laser array. How much are you doing? 10 damage times 3. Wait, what's the heat on this guy? 12. All right. We got a second micro laser array, but that's not going to help us. No, I think that's probably um, okay for now. We don't have any armor to upgrade. No. Half a ton left. So we can get a proper Guardian ECM. The regular ECM should probably do. So I might as well go ahead and approve that. Not sure where this mech is going to fit yet. I'll get it in the schedule. I mean, if we knew if we knew if we knew we were going to be in a close quarters battle, it would probably be worth it. But if we don't know we're going to be in a close quarters battle, then what's the point? You know. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. It's I know it's kind of short, but we'll leave it here. Um, yeah, we're going to see. I think we're, we might be jumping system shortly. We got the sea bills to do it now. Uh, we'll jump over to the one and a half skull planet, oh, probably. Well, God, it's still like I want. I want to. Um, I'm trying to gain rep with with Wolf. More so than anything. So maybe we just. Oh, uh, we picked up another one of these a solo duel here. Actually, you know what? We got how many turns? Nine turns for the Hatchman. So it's too much. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'll record an episode of the Royals. And then I'll just advance the timeline and run that and add it to this episode here. So, um, yeah, I'll be back in a second. All right, I just finished off the, the um, Royals mission and advanced the timeline one day. So we got the uh, a chance to get the Bondsman here. So let's go ahead and say affirmative. And nope. Nope, we don't get the, we don't get the pilot. That's fine. I don't think we have room for them anyway, so that's fine. All right, now we can finish inventing the timeline. So um, we've got a single a mission here coming up. Job's done, Commander. So that's all the mechs back. Oh, that's interesting. Um, Command, so we can pull off another mission for the other. We, you know, we can pull this off before the end of the month. That's actually quite good then, because 
at least that'll give us the ability to um, get some half decent salvage at low risk. I might just do that as a. Um, I'll probably record it, and if it ends up being garbage, then I'll just not um, not include it in the series, but just use it for for salvage. But we're gonna take this one here today. Uh, let's have a quick look at the barracks. So I'm not sure if um, if Vengeance is able to go up at all here. Um, yeah, we don't quite have enough XP yet. That's fine. This isn't going to give us much either, unfortunately. Here we go. So, um, it's against a wolf pilot, which is fine. Which is fine. Full salvage. See what we can get out of this. Alright, let's flush everybody out. All right, Vengeance, where are you? There you are. All right, let's go. Command interface. All right, well, here we go. I feel a tremor. Like <sighs> we don't have stealth, so let's maximize our ability to hide by going in the trees. I mean, I guess I don't really have to zoom in. We know this map pretty much off by off by heart now. I await your command. It's like, this is like the uh, the dual zone. Everybody knows it. This is where command. you go to fight. There's like carcasses of mechs everywhere. I guess there really wouldn't be. People would be scavenging them, but... Pack Hunter 1. What does that mean for me? Yes, Commander. That means we need to get as close to him as fast as possible. Where the hell is he? Oh shit! Oh shit! Is he faster than me? He is. Damn it! Oh! He's like, I know you're over here. Wait, no you're not. Where are you? I, will be done. I, I thought for sure you were over there. That should give me his back, I think. I am the wind! I took the night vision off this thing. I can't see. This guy probably doesn't have night vision either. He's like, where the hell is he? I thought he was right here. Uh, yeah, we gotta shoot it all. Shoot the works, baby. Shoot the works. So he's got three energy and a ballistic, eh? Roger that. Whole lot of nothing. At least he's standing in fire. Gonna need a calibration on my targeting system. You think? Where are you going? As long as he stays out of my sensor range, I can't get any melee on him. That's flames in the way. That's not, though. He's faster than me, so I gotta be careful here. Why would I be overheat? He kind of thinks I've gone through fire, that's why. The fire gun Wow, a couple hits. Standing by. Yes, finally! 33%. 33 with a kick. Physical weapon, back attack, 1 in 3 chance. I'm going. See what he does. He may take the opportunity to go behind me. He may tuck the... Oh, wait. Yeah, he is. This guy doesn't want to fight. I don't know what is up with that. Wow, he's got like speed. I'm ready. Is he trying to get to a certain range to be able to shoot at me? Is that I'm what he's away. doing or double time? Like I mean as long as we stick near him. Uh, I'm not. I gonna. I can't afford to use up all of my uh, locking target SRMs if he's gonna keep running away from me. I gotta get close to him. He's going before me again. Where are you off to? Are you coming back at me this time? Okay. Okay. Are there LRMs? What was he shooting? Orders? 
Um, shit, I got no stability. Attack him from the front, then. Targeting for physical attack. Oh, for fuck's sakes. If I can't hit this guy, we're in a lot of trouble. Waiting for orders. Twenty five percent, sure. See what we can do. He's already overheated, so hopefully this will stop him from shooting and slow him down. Oh for fuck's sakes. I'm getting so tired of Melee. It's such a all or nothing proposition. Okay, is he standing on fire? No, he's not. He's going through fire though. He's trying to drop heat and he knows he can't get away from me. Ooh, I better turn that off. He knows he can't get away from me, that's the thing, right? It's just gonna be a matter of time before I connect. Locked on for physical attack. Or maybe it won't. Maybe I'll run out of ammo and my pilot will get tired and go to sleep. We're definitely gonna run out of SRMs though. This guy could have easily won this match. I mean he still can. I live to serve. All he has to do is stay away from me. And shoot me from a distance. Acknowledge. At least we got the Infernos on this time. A good chance to hit. Come on, hit. Holy Christ. Really? This isn't going on my permanent record, is it? It is going on your permanent record. You're fired! I understand you're tired. I've had a few battles this past Mr. month. Daniel. But you can't be that tired. On At least way. he's slow. We can land SRM shots, There's keep no him warm. Finally! Finally, for Christ's sake! That's Make sure you kill a pilot. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it took so long. Uh. Mission successful. Alright, well that was kind of hilarious. Oh man, he didn't really do any damage to me, but still, it's like, it took so long to get him down. Okay, ERPPC is probably the, gra the grab. I'm going to put it there. Uh, yeah, there's not much else here. We're going to get most of this stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items. We're going to get six of them, so hopefully we don't get the jump jets and we don't get the, these things, but we'll see what happens here. All right, confirm it. Pack hunter part, which is nice. Cockpit. All right, jump jets we can get rid of. So we lost out on the AMS ammo and the ER lasers, which would have been nice. But still, the clan AMS is beautiful. So that's pretty good. So moving forward, that um, meleeing is going to be kind of interesting. We're really going to have to crank up our melee chance to hit. I mean, I'm trying to put stuff on it I can that's going to give us bonuses, but... I mean, it's only... Mar I mean, it's really pilot comes down to the pilot, too. We're advancing slowly, right? So... Um, we didn't get very much experience for that one either. The problem is, is we have to keep going into, like, we only got 4,300. We need 55 or whatever. Because I want to get my piloting up one more. It's going to go from 8 to 10%. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I don't know. Mm, I got to think about how we're going to do that moving forward. Because without being able to get half decent experience for these pilots... For the dueling pilots, they're going to fall way behind the uh, Royals. So we'll probably have to get a lot more assassinate missions going, I think. Um, higher level to share the XP. Just so that we can generate a half decent amount of XP. Like, maybe, you know what, maybe I do is th this... Um, we got three days to come back. I'll probably do... I'm going to record the joint mission. The defend joint... I'll do a joint mission defend base where I take um, the two duelist pilots in here just to get some XP, I think. 
And if it ends up being a good fight, I'll, I'll show you. And if it doesn't end up being a good fight, then, you know, that's fine. I'll just, I'll, I, won't, I won't even post it. But as far as this one goes, I'm going to end this episode here, I think. I don't think there's anything I want to add to the mechs. I think they're pretty good as they are. Um, short of not having skilled pilots. But yeah, I'm going to end the episode. hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.